Hi everyone, this is Jessica Alba. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I have a very special German edition of a get ready with me. We are going to do this fall glam. I think this look will look great on everyone. So if you want to know how to get this glam with my girl, very special guest, Serena, give her a round of applause. She's going to walk me through her favorite fall glam. Check it out. All right, I'm so excited to be on your side today to do your makeup. We're decided on a glam autumn fall look, I guess. And we yes. are. Yes, mm -hmm. in German, how can I say fall or autumn glam? Oktoberfest glam. <laughs> <laughs> Oktoberfest is everything but not glam, unfortunately. Wait, you don't want to bring your fashions to up and your like looks to Oktoberfest? It's not the priority on this. I Oktoberfest. understand. But yeah, it's a herbstlicher glam look. It's actually the pretty same in German. Herbstlicher glam look. Yes. Hey. <laughs> nice. So I'm about to start, of course, with the foundation. You have a bare face, right? I do. Amazing. You have a beautiful skin, which Thank makes it you. even more nice to create a nice look on your face. I would start with your amazing creamy foundations. I love them because the texture is super easy. And of course, they're all beginner friendly. That's what I love yes. about it. I would start with almond. I'm gonna use sand. Mm -hmm. You can use a little and have a big effect, I guess. Yeah, a little goes a long way. It's not overly heavy. No. You still look like it's your skin, which is True. nice. You can use your hands or you can use a sponge or I even like to use a, a brush sometimes. Yes, that works out well. And it truly becomes one with your skin. It's nothing worse on this planet than having like a mask on. Sometimes I have these oh days. Oh my gosh, me too. Yeah. That's why I was so excited to formulate these with our team. It covers nicely, you can layer it, but it doesn't feel very heavy and it, I didn't want something that could break me out either. Yeah, true. The other thing that a lot of people don't know is with most makeup that's out there, especially foundations and different things, they have so many chemicals in them that they mm -hmm. dry out your face and they age you and make you look older. Yeah. With our makeup, it's made with all these clean ingredients, so your skin actually is healthier over time when you combine our skincare and our makeup. And in Germany, unfortunately, like clean beauty and everything is still like an unsexy thing. But now we have Honest, which is really the opposite of everything I always thought about clean beauty. It was like dirt on your face. Yeah. And I no. was like, I want makeup that really performs and works, but also want it to have clean ingredients. And yeah. there, you should be able to combine both. So are you contouring right now? Yes, exactly. I'm using Java for this. I I've never contoured and done everything with my hands. I love it. Yeah, this is a great technique. And I think the effect is even more beautiful. How long have you been an influencer? Since 2014. When did you start with Instagram? Like, was it a natural thing for you to do or? I actually know the founder of Instagram. Amazing. And I was probably one of the first people really in, in Hollywood on like Twitter and then Facebook, Instagram. So I just That's sort of cool. like every new platform. When I was starting off in Hollywood, the only way that people would know anything about me was when a magazine wrote an article about me. Mm -hmm. And I was so frustrated because everyone thought I was someone that I wasn't. And That's so the annoying. only way that I can tell them like, hey, like I'm a girly girl, like <laughs> I love supporting women mm -hmm. and cooking and interior design and I love fashion. No one wants to write, write an article about that. So for That's me, true. I got to use social media to kind of express myself and for me to have an unfiltered view of who mm -hmm. I am as a person. Mm -hmm. Now I'm using the Invisible Blurring Loose Powder in the T-Zone. I really wanted a clean, nice, loose powder. It works great on all skin tones, no matter how yes. um, deep your skin tone is or fair, this is a great powder. I think the last step for the skin prep 
is the Dust Reflection Luminizing Glow Powder. Oh I yeah, I'm obsessed one. with this. Yes. I would say it's my favorite. The fluffy brush, just like the result already. You have quite tan skin. My roots are in Ghana. Oh, so wow. Why, yeah, my dad is mixed and I'm like a quarter Ghanaian. A quarter <laughs> black. Yes, exactly. Okay, I was I was wondering, I was like, why are you wearing the same <laughs> colors as me? Yes, right? My kids are a quarter black too. Yes, I know. Yeah. They're so cute. Thank so you. Amazing. Yeah, I think we go on with the get it together eyeshadow palette which I, I love the colors. They're very, very nice. It's a great starter palette. Sometimes there's too many colors and you're like, where do I begin? And so this is kind of like an everyday palette. You can take your look lighter or darker. I would start with the sparkly dark brown. I start with making these movement with a brush in the crease of my eye. How do your parents feel about you being an influencer? At the beginning, they were not that convinced. The thing is like the moment my father my father realized it's a real job were when people asked him about me. <laughs> that was oh, interesting. Oh, that's so cool. Yes. I am in the lucky position to be super proud of what I'm doing on Instagram and can you show mean, it to my you, people. You're not, you're, we call this in, in our country, mm -hmm. um, thirsty. <laughs> Those yes. thirsty. Those thirst trappers. Exactly. And I've talked to Honor and Haven, my daughters, <laughs> about that is a thirsty photo. That's a girl who's trying to do too much, or yes. a guy, because they're guys they can do it doing too. The same Those exactly. like shirtless selfies. Honor no. and Haven, this is not gold. Yes. They exactly. just look thirsty. They're dehydrated. True. And True. nobody needs to look like that. Now, I always think about like this too, like if I show this picture to my father or to my parents, would they be proud of me? What would they think? Of course, I have also some risky pictures like lingerie or something like this, but I always oh, try to. What is that like <laughs> when, you have to, when you do your lingerie or bathing soup photos? Yes, like, but I always try to do it very classy and More classy, yeah. And yeah. not in a too much sexualized way, you know what I mean. I understand. My whole career, I had, you know, in our country, certainly in entertainment, they're always trying to get young girls naked, I feel like, especially actresses. And so I was like, I am no, my parents are gonna watch this. Yes, exactly. And my grandparents. And so I just can't do something that I'm gonna regret. Yeah, I do. So these, what are you doing with this light color? Oh, yeah. Highlighting in my inner eye and underneath the brows. I love the mix of shiny and matte. It looks very beautiful. Go on with your amazing liquid eyeliner. The liquid eyeliner applicator is perfect also for beginners. And what's nice is like a lot of uh, liquid eyeliners were giving me reactions and I was, my eyes were getting swollen. I have such sensitive eyes. But I tested out this product and our liquid lip, making sure that this, it stuck on the eyes. There was a long wear. So do you do a little wing? Yes, I try. Like I have a little bit more like sad puppy eyes sometimes. I always like to have a sharp, a little fleck wing. at the top. Yeah, exactly. Oh, I love that it's also very matte and very dark black, like super black. I don't know how you make both your eyes look the same. Yeah, like I'm a pro when it comes to a liquid eyeliner. Were you always, when did you start wearing liquid eyeliner? This is what I want to know. I think it was the first thing I tried. All right, so what are we doing next? I prepped the lips a little bit with the Magic Beauty Balm. This is, no, this is my favorite. So I'm just going to curl and apply my mascara. You mm -hmm. may not need mascara. I don't know if you put it on your bottom lashes. Exactly, that's what I'm doing. And the cool thing is the primer, actually. I would also use it sometimes for the eyebrows or for the lash extensions. And what's great about this mascara, I had to, when we were developing it, I had to like hunt down the guy that makes the component, mm -hmm, you know, because mm -hmm. yes. I knew I I needed the primer and the mascara to be on That's, one wand. I never saw a mascara like this. And you have also so much product and such a big brush. 
And it's also not too much product on the brush itself. Oh, the effect is amazing. It's hair extensions for your lashes. Mm -hmm. That's what the primer does because it has fibers and everything on it. And I like to blink my eyelash through the wand when I apply the mascara. I heard you got married recently. Yes, luckily. How was that? Actually, I wanted to get married 2020, of course, because it sounds nice, but we decided on do it quicker last year. How lucky um, are you? Because mm -hmm. if you would have planned it for 2020, you wouldn't have had the wedding you wanted. That's true. I feel so sorry about everybody who's planning a wedding this year. But we had an amazing wedding on Ibiza. It was perfect, beautiful. Oh, you did it in Ibiza? Mm -hmm. Oh, that's amazing. <laughs> yes, it was super nice. But I think you've been to Germany last year, right? Yeah, when I was launching Honest Beauty in Douglas. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, but I've been to Germany a few times. It's funny, we have a few people that work at Honest at my company who are German, and then I have some really good friends that are German, one's German and one's Austrian. Mm -hmm. um, and then one of our partners um, for my baby diapers is uh, in Germany. So we've been, um, yeah. There's a connection. Have, like, I have like, a lot of connections. Exactly, in every yeah. kind of situation. Or Have you been to LA a bunch? Yes, a lot of times. Also, also for Coachella, six times, I think. Oh but, my God, yeah. <laughs> you've gone more than me. I'm, uh, I'm obsessed with Coachella. What is your um, favorite place to go in LA? Beverly Hills. Really? Yes. Why? It's, every time I'm there, I feel so positive and nice, and the weather is nice, the light is nice. I love to go to a blowout bar, getting a coffee, like living this LA lifestyle just for a week. <laughs> and then I go back to my everyday life. My friend found a dry bar. No way. Yeah. I yeah. always go there. Like, you do? <laughs> yes. Oh, you have to meet her next yes. time. Because in Germany, we don't have something like this, which is super sad. Well, you should, we should open one there. I Douglas open should open one totally. in their Hey, should Douglas open a dry bar inside of the Douglas stores? They should. I think they should do it. All right, so what did you do for your lips? Um, I prepared my lips with the Magic Beauty Balm, which I love. Okay, same. I also apply it with my finger all the time. I have it in my bag. Um, and I weighed it with the blush because I wanted to choose for a liquid lipstick to match to the blush. Okay. I have these three colors, rose pink, pony pink, and coral peach. I know it's not the typical autumn color, but I think to my skin tone, it looks very nice. Oh my gosh, I love the coral peach. And I think yeah. it's great for autumn. And it looks nice on so many different skin tones. And I actually really like the cream blush. I think it's really nice alternative to powders mm -hmm. because it just looks like your skin. You don't exactly. look like you're putting on, you have too much makeup on. And oh my God, you have so many colors of the liquid lipstick. I cannot even decide. Yeah, it's so hard. <laughs> like I have all these. They're so beautiful, really. What I like about the liquid lip is I couldn't really wear liquid lip before we created it because mm -hmm. it was so dry on my lips. Mm -hmm. And I always felt like my lips looked old and like dehydrated and I yes. just looked like I, there was a Coachella on my lips. <laughs> like the desert. I know what you mean. <laughs> and oh so my, um, my chemist, uh, in-house Mallory, she developed this formula and swapped out a lot of the petroleum um, based ingredients and a lot of the things that are very dehydrating and mm -hmm. put in really um, awesome alternatives so that it's flexible, mm -hmm. it's comfortable, you still get that matte look, mm -hmm. but it's not like dry mouth, you know? Yeah, I know what you mean. I'm in between Goddess and BFF. I think I go for BFF. It has um, avocado oil and hyaluronic acid. So mm -hmm. over time, your lips are healthier. And it's also so nice to apply because it's not drying immediately. It's like super soft. Also with the, these ones is that you can use, for example, of duty, just apply it in the middle of your lips a little bit to have a more yes. 3D look. Just to add that little bit of highlight. Exactly. And I also love about your products, they don't smell intense or annoying or anything. More like skincare than 
like putting on makeup or something. Oh, that's so great. That was my <laughs> dream. So I really wanted to create a brand that gave you makeup with skincare benefits so your skin is healthier over time. It doesn't mm -hmm. age you or make you look broke down. You don't need to take a break from wearing makeup. Actually, when you wear the makeup, it is nourishing. Um, and we have a lot of amazing ingredients in our makeup. And then our skincare is transformative. It's not just a basic wash. Like mm -hmm. you're getting, again, things that are so nice and so nourishing to your skin in our skincare. And it will transform your skin over time. And that's the thing because I don't, I don't know any brand who can do both. And that's why when I was developing my company, I was like, what if we put all of our money into our formulas? And That's we have amazing. a skincare lab and a color lab, all the way to a regulatory team that tests and makes sure that all of the safety standards are there and that something really works. Mm -hmm. yeah, so that is a type of investment I made in really wanting to bring clean beauty to life. And that's why our brand, um, I think, really stands out from the others. You can tell from the product itself, you can tell from also your marketing and also from you, how you speak about your own brand, that it's like honest, <laughs> you know? It that is. It, that <laughs> the feeling is honest, that the, the ingredients are honest and um, that it really is what it should be. And yeah. I think yeah, a lot of big, big companies should have the same mentality about it. I think it's just showing that like you can do it differently and you can actually put your money in the right places and invest in people's health. We believe in diversity, we have um, inclusion. So really just wanting to stand for all of that and we give back. Mm -hmm. You know, we, we, I embedded in the business model that every time you purchase Honest, you can know that we also donate our money, our time and products to incredible causes. I think it's amazing to see a brand which there's so much more going on in the background, which people don't know, I think. And this makes me even more of a fan of the beauty brand you created. Thank you. And everything which comes together with it. And yeah. We created an amazing look, I think. You look amazing. Yes. I feel Thank amazing. you so much. I am ready Thank for you. the fall, girl. Yes. I'm ready. <laughs> Let me know, are you going to recreate this look? And if you are, make sure you hashtag Honest Beauty, hashtag Nova Lana, Lana Love. Love. And comment below um, in the comments and let me know if you would like Farina and I to do more uh, beauty videos, fashion videos, let me know. She has an entire line. I think she should <laughs> maybe style me. Yes, totally. I'm in. All right, so comment, subscribe, like, and I will see you later. Peace, hearts, bye.